WWE CEO Nick Khan was buffer between McMahon family members, and Triple H holds talent meeting prior to WWE SmackDown. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo back here with another episode of the latest. It has been an absolutely crazy week. We've had so many videos with so much news coming out and today is no different. We're kicking things off with new reports talking about Nick Khan being a buffer between the McMahon family. Take a look. The McMahon family has dominated headlines and WWE CEO has been the buffer between the various parties trying to smooth things over. Dave Meltzer reported as such in this week's Wrestling Observer Newsletter. In reviewing the circumstances in which Stephanie McMahon suddenly resigned as co-CEO and left the company completely this week, Meltzer wrote, quote, it was also conceded that she and Vince McMahon did have issues in working together as family members and how Khan was a buffer who kept things smooth between them as well as between Vince McMahon and Paul Levesque. In a whirlwind of moves, Vince McMahon returned to the company from his July resignation last Friday after six months away and was officially reinstated as executive chairman of the board on Tuesday. Hours earlier, Stephanie McMahon had resigned as co-CEO and Khan was granted the full role. She had also served the role as chairwoman since her father resigned. At the time, Stephanie McMahon had taken a leave of absence to spend more time with family prior to her father's scandal. A Business Insider piece painted her in a negative light and reported that her father had replaced her. Dave Meltzer reported afterwards that that wasn't the case and that Stephanie McMahon left on her own accord. Nick Khan remains as CEO as the company is pursuing a sale this year, while Levesque, Stephanie's husband, is also still in his row, heading up creative as chief content officer. And just days after resigning as WWE co-CEO, Stephanie McMahon McMahon revealed that she's undergone surgery on her ankle. Stephanie thanked the staff at Andrew Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center and noted that she's already started post-surgery rehab. Axios reported on Thursday that both Stephanie and Paul Triple H Levesque were opposed to a sale of WWE. However, in an update, Dave Meltzer wrote, Regarding the story out that Paul Levesque and Stephanie McMahon were against the idea of WWE being sold that was reported by Axios, we were told by someone close to both that Levesque and Steph were not against selling. They were open to all possibilities. In many ways, the company was guaranteed to be sold in some fashion in the fact that Vince McMahon's shares had to be addressed. In that regard, some level of a sale was guaranteed. Additionally, WWE held a talent meeting ahead of Friday Night SmackDown. According to reports from both PW Insider and Fightful Select, Triple H led the meeting and focused on Vince McMahon's role in the company since returning. He reiterated that McMahon is only spearheading efforts to determine if the company should be sold and who it should be sold to. He also squashed rumors that a sale was already a done deal and noted that if the company is sold, the process will be much longer. Levesque stressed that McMahon's return to the company does not impact the creative team or the creative process, although he would also mention that, quote, anything can change. He said that while him and Vince may have discussions about WWE creative, Vince always defers to him for the final say. Alrighty, now that was your update for today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to let me know what your thoughts are on any of these stories in the comment section below. And make sure you guys subscribe here to F4W Online for plenty more content. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo and I'll see you guys later.